News that impacts you and your community. 13 on your side late night starts now. And we begin tonight with the latest from Michigan State University following Monday night shooting on campus that killed three students. The five students who were shot and injured remain in critical condition tonight at Sparrow Hospital. Tomorrow morning, university officials will hold a news conference with an update. Also tomorrow, students who were in Berkey Hall when the gunman opened fire will be allowed to go back and retrieve their belongings. Today, students who were in the student union during the shooting were able to get what they left behind. Classes at MSU are scheduled to resume on Monday, and tonight a faculty member at Michigan State University shared his reservations about returning to the classroom. 13 on your side's Andrea Flores joins us now with the story. Juliet, an associate professor of music education, also shared with me that one of his sons was there during the shooting and one of his students was hurt. With our son, we were terrified all night. A Michigan State University associate professor's son was inside the student union Monday night when the shooter opened fire. And he was sitting with two of his friends um, having some, some dinner and they thought that someone dropped a tray in the kitchen. And it took them about three seconds to hit the ground because they had been training for this since they were in kindergarten. Mitchell Robinson is thankful that his son and his friends got away, but it really bothers him to think about why they knew exactly what to do. I just wonder about the psychological damage that we're doing to a generation of kids who grow up thinking that there's going to be a shooting any second, and sadly, too many of them are right. One of Robinson's students was injured after being shot at Berkey Hall. And they say that, you know, he's now awake and he's able to talk. And I'm just holding out hope that he's going to make a, a full recovery. Um, and sadly, we know that three students from our campus um, are not coming back to school on Monday. And when it comes to returning to school next week. I'm feeling uncertain and I'm feeling unsure. He knows many faculty members are feeling the same way. Probably right now, every teacher in this country from preschool through graduate studies is worried. Um, it's They're scared. And again, they have every right to be scared because as a, as a society, as a culture, we have not been able to make our institutions safe enough. Robinson says he hopes students know that the staff and faculty at MSU will be there Monday, ready to support them. We will do our very best here to make sure that when students come back, they're welcomed and it's a healthy environment from the BN and that we, you know, we don't ignore what happened, but we use that experience to try to move forward. Robinson's life was also touched by gun violence in another way with several of his former students, now teachers in the Oxford School District. He says whether or not someone was hurt in that mass shooting or the one at MSU, it always leaves psychological scars. Juliet. Andrea, thank you.